For most people, the idea of getting around on a flying car seems possible only in the distant future. But in China, that reality may not be so far away. The government is encouraging the growth of what it calls the low-altitude economy, aircraft that fly below 1,000 meters. This Ehang electric vehicle is the first in the world to be certified by a national aviation authority for commercial use. With the gradual popularization of low-altitude flights, this type of air taxi will become widespread. It will become a daily mode of transportation, a lifestyle to enjoy. It takes off and lands vertically, no runway required. And in this case, no pilot. That means I can try it myself. The interior is simple, two seats and a navigation screen. The route is pre-programmed. In case of emergency, there's a button I can press to communicate with the operators on the ground, and a small fire extinguisher. But before I could ask about a parachute, oh, here we go. I was off. Oh, 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 we're going up. This air taxi can travel at speeds of up to 90 kilometers an hour for 130 kilometers. It's quite a view, but a little unnerving not having controls. The company says automation reduces accidents caused by human error. But if you prefer to drive... I'll try to teach you how to fly okay. this in less than a minute. Okay. There are other options. The firm Airridge is waiting for regulatory approval for its land aircraft carrier, which can be automated or controlled using a driving stick. The flying vehicle is stored and transported inside this van, the ground unit. You can uh, store it in your own personal parking space. You can drive it with your own personal passenger driving license to say some scenic sites and you can charge it, use this uh, land uh, ground unit to charge the aircraft for up to six times. So you can fly freely without worrying about the, the, the infrastructure. And the cost? One of these will set you back three hundred to four hundred thousand dollars. So far, Ehang's biggest customers are tourism companies and governments using them for policing and firefighting. But experts say this is just the beginning. As long as you can conquer your fear of heights, <laughs> okay. the sky's the limit. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Hefei, ah, China. We did it! We did it! <laughs> Don't miss out. Get the full picture. Subscribe to Al Jazeera for reliable news, expert insight. Like, share, stay ahead.